When Pope John Paul II died, the Dean of the College of Cardinals celebrated his funeral in St. Peter's Square. It was the first time the world closely watched Joseph Ratzinger. Aside from presiding over the funeral, he was also responsible for leading the College of Cardinals as they chose a successor to Pope John Paul II. It would not be easy. Finding someone with the courage to rule the church after the popular pontiff was difficult. The conclave began on Monday, April 18th with a mass to ask for help from the Holy Spirit. Cardinal Ratzinger, who had already become a strong candidate, celebrated the mass. Preghiamo con insistenza il Signore perché dopo il grande dono di Papa Giovanni Paolo II ci doni di nuovo un pastore secondo il suo cuore. The 115 cardinals under the age of 80 entered the Sistine Chapel at 4 p.m. They swore they would vote unencumbered by pressure and would keep secret what happened there. Extra omnis. A few hours later, the first message from the Sistine Chapel came. Black smoke. There wasn't a new pope the morning of April 19th either. After three ballots, the cardinals had not yet come to a consensus. However, by mid-afternoon, the situation changed. White smoke colored the sky of Rome, and so the people received the news. Annuncio vobis gaudium magnum. Abemus papam. Eminentissimum ag reverendissimum dominum. Dominum Iosefum, Sancte Romane Ecclesiae, Cardinalem Ratzinger. Qui sibi nomen in posuit benedicti decimi sexti. Joseph Ratzinger had just become the 265th successor of St. Peter. With just four ballots, it was one of the fastest conclaves in history. Cari fratelli e sorelle, dopo il grande Papa Giovanni Paolo II, I signori cardinali hanno eletto me, un semplice, umile lavoratore nella vigna del Signore. Mi consola il fatto che il Signore sa lavorare e agire anche con strumenti insufficienti e soprattutto mi affido alle vostre the first thing he did was visit his colleagues in what had been his office of 23 years, the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith. Santità, benvenuto tra noi. E grazie di questa visita. Ancora, ma se non posso credere di stare adesso su un altro posto, E si è rialzato quando il Signore ha detto a Pietro, nel tempo posteriore tu sei guidato dove non volevi andare. They gave him cake. It was already prepared because four days earlier he had turned 78. A few days later, the Pope told German pilgrims how he felt. Als langsam der Gang der Abstimmungen mich erkennen ließ, dass sozusagen das Fallbeil auf mich herabfallen würde, war mir ganz schwindelig zumute. Deswegen habe ich mit tiefer Überzeugung zum Herrn gesagt, tu mir das nicht an. Du hast Jüngere und Bessere, die mit ganz anderem Elan und mit ganz anderer Kraft an diese Aufgabe herantreten können. He had also started his new life without his extensive library. 
The professor pope needed his books, and so he left the Vatican to go to his old home and prepare his first speeches in his library. Unbeknown to him, word spread quickly and hundreds of people waited to see him at his door. He never got used to fame, but with his shyness, Pope Benedict XVI won over those who were able to see him up close. <laughs> 